Teresa Robson, President of Springerly Joy. This is a video in a series about Springerly cookie making and using your Springerly molds for arts and crafts. At this point, we've made our Springerly cookies and allowed them to dry unbaked for about 12 hours on a piece of parchment on a cookie sheet. The reason we use parchment is because it allows us to bake the cookies and not have to do any cleanup. In addition, if you have more cookies than you do cookie sheets, you can make up the cookies, put them on the parchment, and let the cookies dry on the parchment overnight, and then just transfer them onto your cookie sheets as you bake the, the different uh, layers of them. So what we have here is a set of cookies. They still have flour on them, which is perfectly okay, and we'll be able to brush that flour off after they're baked. I've put like-size cookies on the same sheet because cookies bake at different temperatures. In this case, I'm going to put these into the oven at 325 degrees for about six minutes, then I'll check them, and they'll probably go another two minutes, and then I'll bring them out of the oven. Here goes. I put the cookies on the very lowest rack I could in my oven. Take a look at how low that is and how there is all this room here so that you can go in and check your cookies. When the cookies are done, and I just happen to have an identical cookie sheet of cookies, they will have puffed a little bit and you'll get a little bit of a foot. The most important thing though to know that they're done isn't how much they rise, but that you have a golden color on the back of the cookie. You can do that uh, checking by simply using a thin spatula like this. Please use a pot holder when you're checking in the oven. And just kind of peek underneath to see how the cookie head has been doing. Another thing that I wanted to mention to you as far as the uh, cookie baking process went is that, you, that other cookies, bigger ones let's say, or thicker ones, are going to be baked at a lower temperature for a longer period of time. For example, very big hearts, like about this big and thick, can go for as long as 20 minutes in the oven at a temperature between 250 and 275 degrees. In order for you to gauge how your oven is going to bake the cookies, I recommend that the first time that you bake cookies, you just put a few on the cookie sheet and try them out and check them after six minutes and then uh, in two or three minute intervals until you achieve this golden color. And oh, by the way, in storing your cookies, let these dry for an hour on a baking sheet or um, on a baking rack. And after that, put them in airtight containers such as snap top plastic containers or cookie tins. Every layer separate with a layer of wax paper. These will be chewy in consistency at the point in which you're putting them in the tins. If you prefer something that's almost biscotti-like, then all you need to do really is let them air dry for a couple, three days and they will get a, a quite a bit harder. This is now the final stage of the cookie making process and it's time for two things. Number one, to have a cookie and enjoy it. And number two, to if you want to embellish them further, we'll have another video in which we show you how to paint the cookies with food colorings and luster dust. So with that, I'd like to refer you to my website, springerlyjoy.com, to take a look at all 900 of our molds and also to read further tips and tricks that we come up with as we gain even more experience in baking cookies and wish you a good day.